mid-season finale is coming up next week. How excited are you? I am so excited. We worked uh, the holiday. It's like the holiday episode. So it, to me, it's a really special one. And there's a lot going on. So it's kind of, it's a very hectic and um, lots of drama, lots of action. It's it's in a pretty packed episode. I think the tagline is, is that New Orleans isn't going to be the same anymore. Mm -hmm. What can you hint at about that? Sounds like a lot's going to go on. There is a lot. It's um, it's kind of everyone's got their own uh, storyline and their own plan that they're devising in some way, and it kind of just starts to spiral out of control to the point where it's chaos, and uh, it makes for a really cool episode. Now, the gang kind of had to get together to like, fend off Michael recently. Yes. Uh, has that helped Davina's feelings about Klaus at all, or does she still hate his guts? I think Davina... I mean, in, in the end, she does have the people that she cares about will do anything for them. And I think that's something that's really strong and really important about Davina. But um, I think, and I think a lot of people get confused as to why she's still so hateful toward Klaus. And I think what's really important to remember is he has killed the people that she's cared about the most. So uh, to her, that is something that just can't be dropped. And she doesn't, like... Uh, most people, they kill someone and you forget that that's a really big thing. You can't just kill someone and have it not mean anything. He killed the, the, her only friend, the first person that she ever cared about, Tim. Yeah. And that lasted with her and that's, that's, she holds a grudge and she wants, um, she wants revenge and she's still out to get it. And he was a musician too. So he was a musician. Yeah. Music, musicians are really important. You can't just you can't just kill them off. No, the artists of the world. God, and they're the heartthrobs of the world too. It's true. Although that Daniel Sharman is a heartthrob too. What's it been like having him join the cast? Because he's brought some fresh blood to the show. Oh, absolutely. We're so lucky to have him. Honestly, working with Daniel has been so much fun for me and um, such a great learning experience for me too. He's one of the most brilliant actors I've ever met, and it's been I've been so lucky. So let's just talk about the fact that technically he's uh, a lot older than Davina. <laughs> Yes. Is that weird at all, do you think? Or do you think she, because, uh, you know, they're older man, quite a lot older than your teenage character on the show. I think in a lot of ways, I think, I think just in general, personally, I think age is kind of, de like, it, de it depends on your relationship, you know? I think, um, I think age, and I think love is deceiving in a lot of ways, and so age can play in kind of how you choose it, too. Right. So um, I think for Davina, I mean, she, Marcel's like 100 years old. Um, she's used to being surrounded by all these, by the, all the old folks, so I think she's, she's used to it. I don't think it's a factor for her. Why do you think she has become so influential to him, to Cole Caleb? Because, you know, other women in his life haven't uh, been able to kind of calm him down a little bit and make him see reason in a lot of situations. I think it's because Davina's very strong. I think Davina is not like every other girl that he's kind of been through um, in his life, and they don't kind of they don't just go along with everything he says. They have she has a backfire. She's I mean she's strong and she's uh, she's she's very stubborn. And I think uh, he's had a lot of fun kind of trying to get to her good side. And she's slowly but she slowly let him in. When the future of New Orleans and the families and all that kind of stuff isn't at stake, do you think that they would make a cute couple? Do you like? Would you like to see? Oh, them I think they're the cutest couple. Even yeah. when they bicker, I think they're fantastic. Um, I think I think it's always fun to have a little bit of banter and to have um, to have that kind of in a relationship because it's playful and she. No matter how much she she gets annoyed with him, you know, it's it's still it's still great to watch him kind of flirt with her and uh, she. I think she enjoys it as well.